So right now we have our line paper in front of us and we are going to be painting our Roy G. Biv colors on our line paper that we did. You have your paint palette in front of you and we've got our red, orange, green, blue. We've got our purple here, brown, white, and black. We are not going to use these three colors today, but we will use the rest of the colors today as we're painting. So, in Roy G. Biv, the first letter is R, and that means we are going to be painting the color red. So, what I would like you to do is remember with our tempura cakes, we need a lot of water. So, we're going to dip our brush in, and it gets nice and wet. And then you're going to just do three strokes. One, two, three. And you got all that lovely paint on here. And you're going to start by painting your first row. So you're going to paint that first row nice and red, as you can see. And go across. And you can tell that mine is really watery. So if I want a little bit more, I'm going to do one, two, three, grab some more paint, look at all that red on my brush, you can see all of that, and you can go back and you can add that red a little bit darker on your paper paint here. See? So when you've done that first part, I want you to rinse your brush, you put it in here, you do the swirl. Don't push it down to the very bottom. You just want to put the brushes in there, kind of do your swirl. And then remember, we don't tap. We just wipe the water off, just like that, OK? Now, the next one is O, right? So Roy G. Biv, so our O. So we need to do O is orange. How do we do orange when I don't have orange on here? Well, I'm going to show you. So. First thing you need to do is get some water again, okay? Because we're getting a new color. And let's start with yellow. So I want you to go in and you're gonna grab some yellow. One, two, three, you grab some yellow and you're gonna paint the next spot here yellow, okay? And I'm gonna show you how we mix the color. So if it's really light like that, you go back one, two, three. Just like this. Okay, now that I have my yellow down, I don't need to rinse my brush. Take just one wipe of red, just one, and you're going to go over your yellow, and it's going to make orange. Okay, it's going to start. This is like a red orange that I'm making right now, and I'm going to blend it over it, just like that. Now, it doesn't look, I have a lot of red. So I need to make a little bit more yellow. So I'm going to rinse my brush, put this in here, and rinse it, and I'm going to grab some more yellow. One, two, three, put the yellow on top, and it's going to start making a nicer orange. Grab some more ye yellow, put the yellow on top, there we go. Perfect. So now I have my pretty orange, okay? You're going to rinse your brush because the next one, so the next color we're going to do in Roy G. Biv is the Y, yellow, okay? So with my brush, I'm going to grab that yellow. I just, remember we use our ballerina. We go one, two, three, just the top. See how the yellow is not all the way up here? It's only on that very tip part because we're only doing this little bit. I don't want to waste all my yellow and put it in the water. So I'm going to paint my yellow. Just be careful when you're going by your black because if you use it, sometimes it might make the black come back again and you don't want to have yellow black lines. So when you're running out, I didn't grab any more brush, or I mean more water, I just go one, two, three. I grab my paint and then I'm able to paint more. So you'll notice when I'm painting, I'm outlining first. I'm not touching the black. Because if I touch the black, it's going to make it smear. See, I'll show you. If I touch the black, it makes the black smear. And I don't want black in my drawing. 
So if you do end up with some black on your brush, you're just going to rinse your brush, okay? And then you go back and you grab some more yellow. Remember, one, two, three. And you can paint over that. So try painting around your black lines here. Try not to touch the black. One, two, three. Grab my paint. I don't need any water because it's nice and wet. My brush is wet. The paint's wet because you're sharing the paint with your friends. So if I need to get into a tiny area, turn your brush on the side a little there and just do that. There we go. So now I have my pretty in Roy G. Biv. The next color is green right G for green so here we're going to be painting the green color so now that your brush has been rinsed and you dried it on the side of your cup go to the green you're gonna go the same thing one two three you grab that paint and you can already see I've got green on my paint brush so I come here and look at that pretty green and I go back and forth, ballerina toes. If it's really watery and you can't really see it, go back and grab more paint, no water. Go one, two, three, you grab that paint and you go back on and look, see, now it's much better. Again, be very careful by your black lines. Try not to touch the black lines. You can get as close as you can, but try not to touch them. And you go back for more paint. The drier your brush is, where it's not really wet, the more paint is going to show up. So if your brush is really, really wet, or your paint is really, really wet, you're going to have a very light green. But if you want a dark green, you can't have a very wet brush. Now, if your brush, you start seeing crazy lines like that, then you need a little tiny, tiny bit of water. And when I say tiny, I mean you just put the little tip in there like that like a little drop and you can grab some paint then but I'm not sharing my paint with anybody right now so that's why I might need some water but since you're sharing at your table you probably will not there we go so then I have my green done you may rinse your brush Remember when you rinse your brush, you put your brush in and then you wipe on the side of your cup. If for some reason your brush is really, really wet and everybody else's brush is really wet and you're not getting good color, you can wipe your brush on a paper towel and that way it helps um, take off some of that water. So I'm going to go to my blue. I'm going to do the same thing. One, two, three. And I grab my blue. Because in our Roy G. Biv, the next color is B, and B means for blue. So we're going to paint blue in this next area. So my blue is really, really light. It's hard to see on here, so I'm going to go back, and I'm going to go one, two, three. Grab some of that blue. You can see the blue starts to come off a little bit better here. Yay. I'm going to paint around that black. One, two, three, as I grab the paint. One, two, three. Tiny bit. One, two, three. If you do end up with a little black, just kind of try to move it around, rinse your brush, grab some more of the blue, and it'll help color it. Here we 
we go. Now I have the blue done. Now, in our Roy G. Biv, the next color would be indigo. And indigo is that really pretty blue, uh, purple um, color. So it's more blue with a little bit of purple to it. And also, it's usually what your blue jeans are made of. So when you wear your jeans, you're wearing indigo. But we're not going to paint indigo today, so we're going to paint the next one, which would be V for violet. So violet is another name for purple. And we have that really pretty purple on our paint palette. So with our brush nice and clean, we're going to look back at our nice pretty violet, our purple here. And just make sure that you really clean that brush. So you clean it, you wipe it on the side here. And then you go back and you're going to grab it only three, right? One, two, three. And we're going to put it in this spot next. So back and forth. Remember our ballerina toes. One, two, three. Grab more paint. See how nice that works. One, two, three. Make sure you go back and check that you got all those little white spaces. Painting all the way to the edges. So you can see I painted all the way to the edges. All the way from the top, all the way down. Now, if you have a big leftover space, what you can do is start the rainbow all over again. So remember his name is, for the rainbow to remember it, is Roy G. Biff. So Roy R is red. So for me, I'm going to paint R next. I'm gonna rinse my brush, get it nice and clean, wipe it on the side so all that extra water drips off. And I'm gonna turn my palette around so you can see. And I'm going to go back to my red. And one, two, three. Remember when I do it, I only get for the tip. I'm not going all the way for. Paint should not be all the way up here. It should only be in this little tiny area down. So, because that's all that we're painting with. We're not painting with our whole brush like this. We're painting only with the ballerina toes. So go in. And I'm going to paint my red. One, two, three. Paint my red all the way down. And my brush looks like it needed a tiny bit of water. Yours should be fine because you have lots of friends sharing with yours. I am only using a little bit of water on mine. Okay. Go back and forth. Ballerina toes, ballerina toes, ballerina toes. There we go. All the way down. Okay, see how I stayed in the same direction back and forth? Now if I really wanted to switch it and you have more room, you could grab some yellow. And you could put yellow on that bottom part there and it can start turning to orange if you wanted. 